All right, guys, what's going on? Justin from 79 Productions, and today we're going to be getting some work on the Eclipse. In the last video, guys, you seen that I uh, took the engine out, separated the transmission, and got the block sitting there. So now it's time to take apart the block and see what kind of shape it's in, if, it's, if it can be rebuilt or not. So we're going to get to that. But before we get into this video, guys, if you would like to help support the channel, you can pick up some merchandise. Uh, link, the link will be in the description. All t-shirt sales goes directly into funding these projects. So that helps out a lot as far as, you know, when you guys buy uh, merchandise. So, yeah, but the link will be in the des description for that. And uh, we're going to start this video now. Right now, we just want to take this thing apart and see if it can be rebuilt. And we're going to start that and we need to get it on the uh, engine stand. And let's get to that. In order to get this thing on the engine stand, we need to take the clutch off and we need to take the uh, this uh, plate off right here. So we're going we're gonna to just hurry up and get all of this stuff off. and get this thing on the engine stand so we could get it taken apart. And here goes the uh, clutch. And this thing is actually in great shape now. The guy I got the car from said he rebuilt the transmission, so I imagine they uh, put a new clutch on.
All right, guys, so we're gonna take these rods out and normally when you take out rods, I would suggest, I would suggest you keep them in order, but I'm going with new, uh, new rods and pistons, so this doesn't happen. And that's it got that first one out was a little tough to get out but the rest of them should be easier Yeah, guys, so there's a little rust on there, so they're pretty hard to get out, but remember, guys, these things, the pistons were destroyed. I'm not reusing them. If you're taking yours out, make sure these bolts don't nick the crankshaft or the cylinder walls. All right, guys, so here's the uh, crankshaft where the rods came out, and looks pretty decent. I don't know if it's gonna have to be uh, turned over or not, but I think I might be able to get away with a polish. Now, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm gonna take it to the machine shop and I'll let them answer that. And uh, let's, uh, let's turn this block over. The, uh, the cylinder walls, they look pretty decent too. Yeah. The uh, cylinder walls look pretty decent. There's a little bit of surface rust from where the uh, where the block was uh, locked up, but I think I might be able to hone that out. All right, guys, and should have pulled this out before I started to take that off, but it's all right. It'll drop out once I get the crank out. And here this thing goes. It actually looks really good. So this block is going to be able to be uh, machined. All right, guys, we got this engine all taken apart now and the cylinders look pretty good i think we might get away with the home but not 100 percent sure we're gonna go take this thing to the machine shop the bearings actually look great 
All of them are in uh, great shape, but we're gonna go take this thing to the machine shop now and yeah, we're gonna see what they say, but the Eclipse is one step closer to being done. I mean, this is good that the uh, block end up being in good shape. I didn't think it would be in as good shape as it was, but so here's what happened with the belt, with the, with the car guys. Uh, if you see, the timing belt snapped and you could see where the valves crashed into the piston and yeah, that the timing belt caused the, caused the, uh, caused the problem with this. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. If you would like to support the channel, you could pick up some 79 Productions t-shirts or vinyl decals or stickers. The link will be in the description for that. Everything that I sell in merchandise goes directly into building these projects and it funds them. So that always helps. But that's it for this video, guys. If you're not following me, following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that at 79th Productions and also on Facebook at 79th Productions. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless you guys.